Hi, welcome to the part two of this playlist. We are looking at some real certification questions linked with these topics. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. It gives me a pulse of audience and I would continue posting these contents. Let us jump into this question. So you have a Redshift database and the revenue data is here and you want to build a dashboard. Okay. The dashboard will get data from Redshift. Using this dashboard, they can view the previous revenue data and they also have to anticipate revenue for next few months. What is anticipating? Anticipating is forecasting. So we have to give a solution. So one tip to attack such problems is whenever you see dashboard, think of QuickSight. This is a BI tool from AWS, similar to Tableau, Cognos, ClickView. So we established this thumb rule. If we see dashboard, we will only think of QuickSight. By that logic, I don't see QuickSight in option B. This is wrong. But remaining options has QuickSight, QuickSight, and QuickSight. So let's just scan A, option A, this one. It is saying that it will create QuickSight analysis by using data in Redshift. That means this dashboard will be on QuickSight and they will use data from Redshift, okay. which is fine, right? This is what we need. So this will help address this problem. Previous revenue they can see in the dashboard. Now we have to address the forecasting piece. Next few months also we have to address, right? The second piece they are saying is they will use custom field and it will apply li linear regression to the data. So linear regression function, there is no such function. So I am displaying the whole list of functions that can be used in QuickSight. There is nothing related to linear regression here. You cannot do it through custom calculated field so a is wrong see c also it is telling the first part is correct it will use quick sight and connect to redshift the second part it is telling to use forecasting widget see this is a feature which is available in quick sight okay it uses ml powered forecasting techniques and it can generate a reliable forecast so this portion addresses this requirement of next month so this is correct but let us look at d see d is telling you to straight away use SageMaker model and then integrate that model with quick site then create a widget for data set so here you are using two service instead of one service it is not most effective you should use one service first hmm. second problem with this is see if you have a knife don't pull your gun i repeat if you have a knife don't pull your gun so sage maker is a gun in quick side you already have widgets forecasting widgets that is your knife if quick side already has it why the hell are you pulling your gun here so d is wrong so this is the right answer so there is some data processing happening the ask here is you want to create glue data catalog partitions you want to update it automatically that is the only problem that you have to solve which one is most cost effective see i will just use a simple logic i want to address partitions okay where do i see partitions I see here i see here so i will just strike out a and B. I do not see any solution given to address the updating of the partitions. Now, if I compare between C and D, the second part that is this part is the same. Okay. So that means we will have to decide between this and this. We want most cost effective. Hive is not the most cost effective compared to data catalog 
so my answer would be d so this one is the final answer so if you see this documentation the code uses enable update catalog argument okay and you have to put this if you know that your data catalog is to be updated you need to pass this and partition keys as an optional argument so now let us move to the next question see the use case here is data migration had it been simple data migration then you would have chosen an option which is using dms this is a data migration service from aws but it is not a normal data migration now you might say why do you say so see if you see this enhance it for analytics you have to just not migrate it you have to enhance the data for future analytics that is why anything to do with dms will not work here now a a is saying that from on premises you will first move to s3 and then you use glue crawler see this is not needed glue crawler can directly work on on premises databases so this is an additional step where they are bringing to s3 and then using glue crawler so we want fewest operating cost so keeping that in mind i will reject this option now c and d are similar except that towards the end see what c and d are doing is they are using glue crawler first on on premises databases glue crawler is able to access on premises also then they use glue job to enrich the data and then they will save it in s3 in apache format the parquet format see nowadays no any project we are saving the data in parquet format in cloud or on premises because of uh, it requires less storage space and it is columnar so the reads are faster the writes are also faster now the only difference we see is c is saying they will build a redshift cluster and they will use redshift spectrum and d is saying they will use athena now which one to choose see if you know that you have to reduce the cost redshift is mercedes benz redshift spectrum is redshift with redshift spectrum is like ferrari very expensive and athena is just like your toyota corolla so which one is cheaper is mercedes cheaper or toyota corolla cheaper obviously toyota corolla is cheaper so this is our answer we will choose toyota corolla because we want cheapest operating cost here we want cheapest operating cost but won't c work c would have worked but c is costly see in order to move from point a to point b in low cost you have to use toyota corolla and not mercedes benz this is the final answer let us look at this question so this is a real time streaming question you know in the real time streaming questions there is a producer in this question producer is a iot device what is that iot device it are these are smart meters and there is a consumer consumer what is a consumer here it is one consumer application okay and in between what is there in between you have data streams to stream the data and then you are using kcl to retrieve the data consumer use kcl so the kcl is here consumer use kcl to retrieve the data now there is a delay of 1 second producer sending the data and consumer receiving the data there is a delay of 1 second it has to be brought down to 500 milliseconds now what to do here first one says you use enhance find out in data streams see the kcl default it is set to poll after every 1 second and that is why we are seeing a delay of 1 second so we will have to change the default property so this in order to change it we have to change the average propagation delay typically below 1 second so in kcl configuration this is the setting idle time between read in millis so this we will make to 500 instead of 250 that will become 500 milliseconds in case you are not sure what is propagation delay 
this is the definition it is the defined as the end to end latency from the moment a record is written to it is read by the consumer application so if you are sending a package from point a to point b so propagation delay is the time it takes to move the package from point a to point b so in this case c would be the answer here because this is talking about reducing the propagation delay by overriding the kcl default settings just like i showed you the default setting is 1 second we will change it to 500 milliseconds why a will not work fan out because uh, see fan out is on a data stream so for, for example if amazon is keep it keeps on sending packages so many packages so suppose earlier it was sending five package and there was a delay of one second in receiving it by the consumer now what you are saying is an option you are saying is you are saying that instead of five packages amazon will send 50 packages it will do a fan out and send 50 packages because that will not solve the problem the consumer see there is a delay in receiving by the consumer hmm. it is not the delay that is happening in sending the package so it doesn't help if you instead of five you send 50 packages it will not help 50 packages means like if there was a provision to move five packages you increase that provision to move 50 packages but the problem is not that there is no bandwidth or pipeline uh, the i mean if you increase the width of the pipe it is that is not the problem the problem is the consumer is not able to consume the application consume the data sorry so a is wrong here b says increase the number of shards it is similar like increase the number of shards means you increase the width of the pipeline if the water is flowing from one source to one target the target there is just one small cap, uh, tap then it is a problem right uh, even you increase the width of the pipe and send more water what is it is not going to help because the target is just one tap so this will not help and this is develop consumers by using data firewalls they are saying that replace kcl use data firewalls was why it is required when it is just uh, a question of overriding the milliseconds propagation delays so this is the final answer now please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button please see subscriptions would definitely help me because uh, this is all free content if you have any constructive comments then please drop in your comments if you have a suggestion or if you think you want content around a particular certification please drop in your comments this brings us to the end of part 2 we looked at questions linked with these topics in this part stay tuned i will post many more videos on this topic of aws certified data analytics certification these are all real questions please focus only on the concepts don't try to mug the answers you will not pass if you mug the answers you will only pass if you focus on understanding the concept and understand the technique to weed out the wrong answers